What's going on, guys? So it is a wonderful Monday morning. The sun is out. It's a good day. Uh, pretty uh, awesome weekend, man. Um, I went to a bridal shower, which was kind of cool. Uh, not necessarily my scene. I just went because of was transportation. <laughs> uh, but it was cool seeing uh, some friends and being able to get to, you know, be part of that experience with them. Um, also got to, I mean, the last video I posted on my channel was just my uh, daughter's uh, little choir thing that she did at uh, the arts festival. Um, really, really proud of her. She worked really, really hard to, uh, to get that stuff down, man. Uh, Believer was a hard song for her, but it was really, really fun for her at the same time because it's a modern song, and she had a really good time with it, so I'm, like, super proud of her. Um, something I want to touch on today, right? Uh, social media. I think I, I've, I've had vlogs about this before, but... I'm going to kind of twist it into in a different angle, I think, this time. So, my 10-year-old wants a Facebook. All of her friends have a Facebook, according to her. Um, and I'm against it. And the reason why I'm against this is because there's so many things out there in the social media world that kids shouldn't be exposed to. Uh, there's things out in the social media world we don't need exposed to. Like, seriously, there are images, there are things, opinions, and people out there that we don't need. That, that as adults who can make, you know, conscious decisions and, 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 you know, are able to fully assess and decide on the right course of action, we shouldn't even be exposed to some things. Um, I feel like Social media has gotten way out of control. Um, so much so to where I even draw back from it. And everybody, I'm sure everyone's like, but you got a YouTube channel and yada, yada, yada. I do, but here's the thing. All of my platforms are tied together to Twitter. And mostly all of my updates come from Twitter. Um, it's kind of a little, a little social media secret of mine. Uh, I update my YouTube, my... Uh, YouTube page on Facebook and my Facebook all from Twitter. Everything is linked together. When I post videos to YouTube, uh, my YouTube is linked to Twitter, so my uh, posts to YouTube get shared to all my platforms through Twitter. Twitter's an amazing, uh, really, really amazing tool in the social media world to where you can participate in the social media world without being fully engaged in the social media world. But kids, man, I don't think, like, I know Facebook's got their, their own age restraint. You know, they got their own thing where I think it's 13. You have to be 13 to have a Facebook. But man, everybody can fudge numbers. Numbers can always be fudged online. Like, people lie all the time. I mean, that that's where that show Catfish came from, right? People get on Facebook, they lie all the time. They make up all these elaborate stories and ages and names and stealing photos and all that mad nonsense and that's the thing like you talk about all the problems that are out there and then you introduce a child into it man it's not good it's not um i posted the question out there on my facebook and i want to say it was more like 60 40 they shouldn't have facebook uh, a lot of my friends have older kids, uh, you know, an 11 to 13 year old, neither one of them have Facebook. Um, another friend of mine said that her son's not going to have Facebook until he turns 16. So, I'm not trying to shove my opinion down anyone's throat, but man, I'm telling you, kids only get to be kids for so long. You know, they only get that bit of innocence for so long before they have to be exposed to the way this world operates and the junk that's in it. Why send them into it earlier? Um, that's just my take. Anyway, um, 
super pumped about today, right? Uh, it's Monday. It's a fresh start to a fresh week. Uh, I'm getting back on my training this week, which I'm pretty pumped about. Uh, the weather's warming up, so my AM cardio outside is going to go back into full swing, which I'm pretty pumped uh, about getting back into that. Um, just really enjoying life right now. Um, uh, and I feel like a lot of us need to work on that. We need to enjoy life, man. Uh, struggles come. Problems come. And you know, in all honesty, you should want them to. Life would be boring if we didn't face struggle. I, I've heard that so many times this weekend um, through different uh, motivational speakers, through my pastor. He did uh, an amazing sermon this past Sunday talking about struggle and pain in the world and you know how those pains and struggles are a cause of sin which the Bible doesn't say that by the way um, the Bible says that God disciplines us to grow us but we also live in a fallen world so I mean you can't necessarily be like oh well God's punishing me for something because here's the thing this world sucks <laughs> there's a lot of bad there's a lot of ugly and man it just sometimes that ugly winds up getting into our lives not because we chose for it to but just because that's how this junk box of a world operates so the takeaway right you guys got to start embracing the struggles embracing the hardships and figuring out a way to grow through them and I know that that's not the easiest thing to do it's easier said than done right um, but that's the that that's the moral of the story you gotta be able to push through these struggles these hard times so you can get to the other side where you have grown and matured and been hardened to excel and get to that next level because the the end product should always be going to the next level and the level after that and the level after that because we're never done growing we're never done we're not done until we're in the ground so you just got to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing and I know you guys can do it yeah you're here the Creator put you here and gave you the tools that you need to do it. You just got to do it. You just got to apply yourself. I, I even say this out of myself. I can do anything I want to do. I have to apply myself to do it, though. And that's the problem. We have to form the discipline to apply ourselves. We have to form the discipline to engage and embrace and apply what we've learned from those hardships that we've already faced to face the next ones and to get through those and then the next and then the next and then the next this life will never be easier you just get better I know that's a corny line that's out there floating around but it's a true story um, we just get better in this life things don't get easier things are never handed to us uh, and the people who do get things handed to them trust me They've got their own struggles. You 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 think uh, you know the, these guys that uh, you know these boys and girls that grow up in million dollar homes don't have struggles. They have struggles. They have struggles just like me and you do. The only difference is their struggles are just on the opposite end of the scope. You know, I grew up in a home where my mom and dad were, you know, okay uh, financially. But we faced struggle. There were times where I could not get what I wanted. But I always had a loving family. Some of these kids that you see are in the opposite scope. They are the parents who are on the other end of, of the spectrum, you know? The parents who aren't there for their children. That work, you know, from... 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. and never see their kids. But the kid has everything they can dream. But they don't have that parent. 
everybody faces struggle in this life. So don't ever look at the next person and think that they've got it made because I promise you, in, in the areas that you think they have it made, they're probably lacking in others. Um, is That's the way life operates. But it's Monday. And that means it's the start of a new week. And we can kill it. We can do this. You just got to do it. You got to apply yourself. I'm going to cut off of here because I am pulling in to work myself. And I'm going to go slaughter this shit. <laughs> um, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I know that this video will post on Tuesday. So it's going to be a little... Uh, uh, about a day later than the jive I'm talking, but it's a new week. Take the week. Embrace the week. Kill it. Because I know you can. You just got to. You got to apply yourself. And man, I'm telling you right now, if... If I can stay positive in my garbage, I know you can. If I can push myself, I know you can. You just got to do it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. God bless all of you. I love you guys. We'll see what else uh, today brings. Nah. <laughs>